Hello. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how I use our raid bots and SimC and all that stuff with WoW on it. Uh, what you want to do is go into your talents. I suggest picking your single target stuff. You slash SimC with the simulation craft add-on. And it's going to give you a whole like list of all of your items, what's in your bags, etc. Then go over to your Droptimizer in Raidbots. So just wait for it for a sec. It'll probably still have your old stuff. Just paste right over it. And then whatever raid you're doing, like we're currently about to do Nerevar Palace. Uh, I'm going to select Heroic. You can do either. You can do Heroic, Mythic, Normal if you do need some big upgrades from something. Um, I suggest using what the standard is, which is patchwork, one boss, five minutes. Uh, just run that Droptimizer. And if you have an account, if you pay for it, it'll go faster. If not, especially if it's on like a Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to be waiting for a bit. But I've already got one done. Oh, it's like a baking show. <laughs> just pull out a whole different cake. Just copy the string that's at the top. And what you're going to do is navigate to your WoW audit page. Uh, go to your personal tab on the wish list near the bottom. And just post that right in there. Um, it's gonna have my heroic stuff since I just simmed for heroic. Just hit go. So now it's got all of the values and what's an upgrade for me from heroic. Uh, you can do the percentage if you want. I prefer the raw number personally, but it doesn't really matter. Because when you go to the wishlist overview, it's gonna show what everyone's got. Um, so. You can see like all items, what's like the whole list, but that's a lot. So if you're just looking at like the final boss, if you guys are on on farm for specific items like legendaries or if people still need a stupid cloak that gives you random stats and steals stats from other people, <laughs> ah, uh, they'll show up here. But look over what like trinkets and things you're using, because if you're like a healer or a tank, like for healers, you're going to go to QE Live, put in your character information, and it's going to give you a drop down of like what the best things are and what they drop from, how big the items are. And you can sort by like raids, dungeons, or everything. I think. Oh, you can take them out. Got it. But still, like if you have a random trinket that has like some crappy stats and a use if you're not gonna use the use function on the trinket which you probably should consider binding um sorry that response just broke my brain really quick just bind it to like something on your action wear Key bindings are a discussion for another day. Like I bind some things to my little scroll wheel on my keyboard or um, like shift functions, stuff like that. Uh, side keys, but in general, you're gonna take your sim for like healers and stuff. You can put your sim C in to import your gear but still post those into your uh, WoW audit overview. You can do like manual comments if there's something that you really need. That's not what I meant to do. Stuff like that. Um, I'm going to try the RC Loop Council desktop client this time. We use the add-on, of course. And I'm going to also try the RC Loop Council WoW audit add-on that tracks like how many items you've given out to what person. Um, but it's a really nice feature if you run a big group of people, like even if you're um, a smaller guild or if you don't raid Mythic, it's still fine. Like it, it gives people 
a focus to look for certain things when you're farming or hugging or what have you. Just nice to see your data. And then that'll always be on your personal list. So, good luck. <laughs>